COVID has been a mirror that has exacerbated all of the inequalities in our world, from racial equality to gender equality to um, equality, inequality and poverty, etc. But it also has taught us four brief lessons that I think we can think about. The first lesson is that collective human behavior actually matters. It's the only thing that's saving us at the moment from the worst of the pandemic, because we don't have a virus. It's the collective obeying lockdown, obeying social distancing, obeying hand washing, and so, and so on. We're doing it because we want to protect the elderly, we want to protect the, care, the health workers, the frontline defenders, the children, etc. Secondly, government matters. We need to recognize that in our democracies. And we actually have to know what is good government, and I won't go into this in detail, but women-led governments have been doing exceptionally well because they took decisions early, they listened to the science, and they brought their people with them. The, the third issue is that science matters. And that's what the children have been reminding us over and over again. Listen to the science, listen to the science. And we see the health workers side by side, uh, health experts side by side with government advisors telling us what the phases are that, that we come out, or do we have to go back to further lockdown? That balancing that's going on is all about the medical science. We need to listen to the climate scientists, the Brian Hoskins and other scientists of this world, absolutely on how we go forward. And the fourth one is a, is, a, is a kind of subtle one, but I think it's important. Compassion matters. You know, I've noticed, I've noticed all over the world, we're seeing more neighborliness, more caring about others who are in a worse situation. 